on the 7th of December. Jenny Blaylock with her father out there flying along. Jenny's 45 years old. She's an aviation person, YouTuber, pretty low time. She's in a beach. Um, this is a Demonera. It's kind of the predecessor to an early uh, Bonanza. Um, pretty high-powered, fast airplane for low time. She did not have an instrument rating. Um, she had made a YouTube video previous to this. I watched a few of her videos after her accident and came to the conclusion she's pretty far behind the airplane most of the time. She's nervous. She's counting on her autopilot, and she's pretty far behind the airplane. She was actually taking the airplane that day to Arkansas to go get the autopilot either replaced or worked on because she was so emphatic about having to have an autopilot in that airplane. Now, the problem I have with this airplane is it had a Century 2000 autopilot. I know this autopilot very well. I know that airplane very well. And this autopilot will grab and it will hold on like a pit bull. She already had several problems. I'm going to show you a video clip here. This is called an autopilot trim stall. She got this thing in an airplane nose up condition. The speed was decreasing. I want you to watch this video that I stole from her YouTube channel. She's had she's had this happen over and over and over to her where the autopilot, the Century 2000 is pitching her up and she doesn't know what to do about it. Look at this. All right, so right now what I'm going to do while well, this is an autopilot and I'm a uh... I'm a little ways off here. So. Up, but, uh, wow. Just watch my airspeed, if you don't mind. But what about your air? I can't see. Yeah, I'm supposed to be at a, I'm supposed to be at a 43. 43. And I'm going to try to get this. Uh, the trail bikes are there. Bobbin. Yeah, I'll watch my uh show and trim, trim up. We're getting too close to stall speed. Stop, stop it. Autopilot. So here's a graphic of the uh, Century 2000 panel. If you notice, here's the motor enunciator here on the left. The, uh, the, the panel here has these two buttons on the right for up and down. It's operator error. She's not operating this thing correctly. She needs altitude hold, and this thing will go up and down slightly. It'll do what it's supposed to do, but if it... If it gets a mind of its own and wants, it wants to trim up and pull the nose up, it's going to do it. Um, this autopilot here is, um, is a very common used autopilot. It, uh, it's actually a fairly, fairly good one. I think based on her flight profile that I saw, she was not out to practice stalls. She had her father with her. She was trying to get to Arkansas. Her altitude and speed deviations indicated to me that she was still having altitude deviation problems with that autopilot. And look at the very, very end of this thing. It starts climbing and speed is decaying. Jenny Blaylock died of a stall spin autopilot trim stall that she could not recognize and could not get disengaged in time. This thing pulled the nose up, that wing stalled. She was clean, gear up, flaps up, it stalled, it rolled. And Jenny Blaylock did not know how to do a spin recovery, and she rode it all the way to the earth with the yoke fully aft, trying to figure out what was going on and screaming at the very end. There's no way for her to get this thing out of her. She should never have been in that airplane. That's too much airplane. Uh, she was counting on autopilot. The whole, the whole situation is not good, but this, to me, is a classic Century 2000 autopilot trim, stall, spin, and death.